I was uh, originally a mathematician. Oh, really? And I, I became interested in fluid dynamics. Um, but fluid dynamics is movements of any fluid. So it can be um, air in a building, ventilation. Um, it can be air in someone's lungs. And it can be water in the ocean. So from maths, I went to fluid dynamics. From there, I went to physical oceanography, marine science. And in the late 1990s, there was a new satellite coming out from NASA called SeaWIFS. And this gave, this, this was the first ocean color sensor, and it gave a massive amount of data on chlorophyll. Um, when, when that sensor came out, I changed my career direction to look at just satellite data processing and uh, and it's been really exciting since then. Uh, over the last 10-15 years there's been so much pro progress in the satellite hardware. The basic education, obviously maths, physics, chemistry, biology, all these subjects are useful. What becomes more important now is the ability to communicate across different countries. Um, obviously English is very very important for that as an international language. So after a certain level, it becomes very important that a researcher can go to conferences, can express himself or herself well in English, and can also make contacts with people. So meeting people, talking to them, and making the individual human contacts becomes very important because that can make a difference to establishing a collaboration or just working apart and not benefiting from the, the whole scientific community that's that's working on very similar subjects.